So we're going to practice um, a couple problems with slope and see if we can solve equations that give us points and also don't have points. So let's just take a look at the coordinate plane. Um, this is y and this is x. So these numbers on the x would be positive and the numbers on the y would be positive also. So anything over here is positive x, anything above here is positive y. Over here, x is negative, y is positive. We always write it as x first, the value of x, and then y. Okay, and then we have, this would be negative x, x is on this side, and then down here, negative y. Anything below here means y is negative. Here we have positive x and um, negative y is down below. Okay, so we've solved the problems when we have um, dots. So if we have a dot right there, and if we have a dot right there, slope is how much you rise over how much you run, which is mainly the change in y value and the change in the x value. So let's take a look at that. We always walk left to right. So in this case, I'm going to walk up one, two, three. I'm up three. So I'm over here, and then over one, two, three. I'm up three also, which of course would equal one over one. If we want to test that, let's just draw this line, connecting them. So we're up one, over one, up one, over one, up one, over one. So our slope works. All right, let's try going from here to here. You try it first. Take a minute. Okay, so let's see what we got. I'm at this level, so I'm going to go up one, two, three. I would write three over, or three up, and then over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Up three over ten, going left to right like that. Okay, so now let's have you try this one. Give you a minute to try it. And the first thing you should notice is that it's going down, which is going to affect what kind of slope you're going to have. All right, let's give it a shot. First of all, I'm going down, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So down ten, which is negative. Y is getting smaller. And then I'm at this line right here. So I would go over one, two, three, four, five. If that's correct, we could, that would also equal negative 2 over 1. If we draw this line, so that's down 1, or sorry, down 2, 1, 2 over 1. Perfect. Down 2 over 1. Down 2 over 1. We stay right on the line. So both those equations work. Now, let's say they give us a equation, let's go here, where we don't have the graph. So they give me 2, 4, and 3, let's make that a 3, 7. 
So I'm going to solve this without plotting it, and then we'll plot it just to confirm it. So this is my x value. This is my y value. This is where I'm starting from. Let's name this x2 and y. Let's make that a little bit clearer. Y2. Okay, so remember, slope is the change in y over the change in x, or how much we rise and fall over how much we move. So in this case, I'm up 4. I'm up 4, and I am now moving to where I'm up 7. So if I'm up 4, and now I'm up 7, I went up 3. Okay? I was over 2, and now I'm over 3, so I went over 1. That's my slope. Let's plot it and see. So this means x is over 2 and up. 1, 1, 2, 3, 4. That's my first dot. And this means it's over 3. 1, 2, 3. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So that would be 2, 4, 3, 7. Let's try our slope. Up 1, 2, 3, and over 1. Perfect. Okay. Let's have you let's duplicate this page and let's clear the ink. Let's try have you try this one. So we're over four and up seven. And we're going to 7 and up 13. So go ahead and stop this video for a second. Try it, and then come back to the video. All right, so you should have completed the problem now. So let's label it x, y, x1, y1, x2, y2. All right, so let's uh, try it. So we're, at, we're up 7. So we're up 7 on y. And now we're up 13. So we should have gone up. You should have got 6. We're up 6. And now we were over 4. And now we're over 7. So up 6 over 3 or 2 over 1. Either one will work. You'll be going up 6 over 3 or up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1. Remember, always leave it as a fraction. Don't make that 2 because this is how much you rise and how much you fall. Okay, let's try one. where we don't, or we're going the opposite direction. Let's say I'm at 2, 4, and now I'm at 4 minus 2. Okay. So this is going down. We're 4 above y. We have 2 above y. So we're going to see what we have to do. So if I'm at positive 4 to get to negative 2, if we look at our number line, I'm at positive 4 to get to negative 2. Go ahead and take a second, stop the video, see if you can figure that out. Okay, you should have moved over 4 to go to 0, and then 2 more, so you went down 6, and then you went from 2 to 4 over 2, or down 3 and over 1. Now let's prove that. So you're over 2. 1, 2, up 
one, two, three, four. That's point two four. And now we're over four. One, two, three, four, and down two. One, two. So let's see if our slope's right. No, we're going down. So you know the slope's gonna be getting negative. We gotta subtract from y. One, two, three, four, five, six, and over one, two. Perfect. Now let's see if we can do the, the reduce one. So let's try this one. One, two, three, over one. One, two, three, over one. Perfect. Okay. Let's try one more. So we're going to try a negative slope. Let's see, we already are negative. So let's say x is 2, and I'm at negative 2. And I'm going to move to 4, negative 7. OK, stop the video for a minute. See if you can solve it without charting it. And then chart it, and see if you can prove it. OK, so I'm at negative 2. I'm down 2. And I'm going to go to negative 7. So I have to go down 5. Look at our number line. If I'm at negative 2 and I'm going to negative 7, I have to move 5 spots. So I'm down 5. And then I was over 2 and over 4, over 2. So negative 5 over 2, sometimes they write it with a negative just being here. All right, let's prove it. So over 2, 1, 2, down 2. Over 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and down 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. OK, we're going to go from this point to this point. That's how slope is. We're going down. So we're going to subtract 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 from y, and over 1, 2. All right, good. You may want to practice these a couple of times. And then I'm going to give you an assignment, also in Google Classroom, so you can practice some on your own. We have a quiz on this tomorrow. So take as much time as you need to on this lesson.